Yeah, are you, are you guys? Do you guys like Ren fairs? <laughs> no. no. What the fuck would we like gay. Ren fairs? <laughs> They're gay as fuck, right? <laughs> are you, you remember kids gay? like in high? <laughs> <like, laughs> I've never been to one. I like never will go to one. <laughs> It's How funny would it be if one of us loved Ren Faire? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I, I'm not. In, I'm not into. Uh, <laughs> I think you are. You fucking dragon like dick. You can get like bitch. a big. You can get a turkey leg. You can <laughs> eat the, the turkey. Leg. You can get a turkey leg anywhere. Anytime. You don't need to go to a fucking Ren Faire to get a turkey leg. You can see people jousting. And it's all, no, that's medieval times. That's not the Ren Faire. Yeah, medieval and that's times. That's completely is different. Cool I've never shit. been to medieval times, but I would go to medieval times. I go there. Yeah, because it's like dinner theater. Yeah, it's. I would absolutely too, go to dinner theater. Do you remember like funny. like kids in high school that were Ren Faire kind of kids that were like into that shit? No. There was yeah, this kid I, I went to high school with, Richard, who like uh, the whole of high school. Did you call we, him Bitchard? Because yeah, I would have. <laughs> we I called him Bitchard, and then like when we were reading Russian. Lord of the Flies, we started calling him Piggy. We were very mean to him. <laughs> Hell yeah. And we'd be like, shut the fuck up, Piggy. You don't have the conch. <laughs> we'd be like yeah. so mean to him. And anyway, like the, all of high school, he was like, I have a fiance. He, like he like claim that he had a fiance and he was also Wiccan you know it's like oh always those kind of kids that are into Ren Fair oh. kind of shit but one day like my friend was driving behind him like coming into the parking lot of school and he had this he had this bumper sticker on his car is like don't be mean to dragons because you're gonna get uh, set on fire <laughs> it's just the nerdiest <laughs> like saddest shit Jesus I've ever Christ. seen in my entire life and I found oh. him on Facebook and he really did have a fiance they got married they look very happy they really? in Seattle yeah good for him what yeah we were really mean to him good for him and he was like, hilarious shit. dude fucking uh don't uh, be mean to dragons Blake Midget had some like white trash guy that he knew growing up who's on Facebook named like uh Lewis Gormley or something uh -huh. Who he showed me one time, and that guy was great. He like collected swords, oh, yeah. but he had he had one Facebook status one time that was like, "Best feeling in the world is coming back from vacation. You got more swords than you left." <laughs> 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 and, he has, and he had another one on there that was like, "Someone touches my truck." Two words, Mossberg, which I love because that's not two words. It's, yeah. it's one fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. That's so good. A guy who loves swords. <laughs> <coughs> now, nah, I'll be honest with you. There's, a, there's it's so kind of a shame because you know I would never carry a gun in self defense, but I would love it if I could just carry a katana. <laughs> and because imagine how bad you could fuck somebody up with a katana, dude. Dude, there was some. It is my nerves. one of my like few distinct goals in life. Like dunking is one of them on yeah. a ten foot. Riding a horse and having a sword in my hand <laughs> yeah. would just be the coolest shit. No, imagine dude, somebody tries yeah. to fucking ah, rob you. Just being on a horse. Imagine and somebody fucking... tries to rob you and you're oh. like, hold on a second. And then you just fucking cut their fingers off of both hands at the same time. <laughs> and they're screaming and they don't know what to do because they fucked with somebody that obviously has Asperger's. And you oh, just yeah. have a fucking katana. All they've been doing is practicing with their well, katana. That, yeah, that yeah. happened in both. You just that, slice their fucking kneecaps off. There's that news, that local news clip they like got big on youtube but that guy with the katana who's like i'm i'm trained in four different sword yeah, fighting yeah, disciplines yeah. yeah in phoenix he was in i think it was in phoenix Dude, yeah somebody literally died like there was someone tried to rob these fucking nerd these hopkins nerds yeah and they fucking killed oh them yeah i remember that story the guy was like hiding in the backyard and yeah. he like came out and the nerds fucking sliced him to pieces with that katana <laughs> <laughs> like these fucking autistic black kids. <laughs> this fucking, there were so many Japanese, like anime loving black kids who loved swords in my yeah, high school, yeah, dude. Yeah. That shit was the best. Dude. Nah, that, yeah, that's that's the fucking way to go. If you're ever, if anyone confronts you ever, just to slice them into a million pieces <laughs> with a. <laughs> you're, you're your gay ass sword, dude. <laughs> that is so demeaning. You yeah, die know, by right. a fucking nerd. That's what makes it better. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Where's you with Wii U? <laughs> 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 he's like he's just like pulls out his Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you're like whoa 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 stop 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 <laughs> that's like how dead with death by Katana is <laughs> fuck man because yeah, you're a fucking loser it's not like you know sometimes you get them sometimes you get God it's like no that guy's a fucking loser he got killed by a GameStop employee <laughs> <laughs> oh god dude I'd love to know what's up with your old boss at GameStop these days Bill yeah bill buckley are you friends on facebook wait nah. william buckley That's, yeah his name is william buckley i asked him one time i was like is there any relation 
And he was like, yeah, so actually I've met him, and he is not a very nice gentleman. <laughs> and I, 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 don't, I don't know if he was lying or not, but dead. I love the idea. Well, this is before he died. Really? Yeah, I love the idea of, of William F. Buckley just shitting all over that game stuff. <laughs> they're at some dinner in the Hamptons or whatever, yeah, yeah. an extended family, and they're like, Oh great, Bill's going to be. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's uh, uh, rather uh, true. Uh, uh, quite uh, explicitly mentally retarded. <laughs> you know that? You've seen that clip of William F. Buckley calling James Baldwin a faggot, right? It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it didn't isn't that what firing line was in the 1960s? You bring prominent homosexual writers on <laughs> yeah. and call them a faggot. <laughs> You're watching Firing Line on William F. Buckley Jr. Our guest today is a faggot. <laughs> what do you call um? What do you call uh, the other guy? What Gore Vidal. What do you call Vidal? Uh, he called uh, him a, a queer. A queer. A, queer, yeah. Yeah, a goddamn yeah. queer. Yeah. Sock listen, you one, you goddamn Yeah, he goes, queer listen, like if that. you call me a crypto Nazi again, I'll sock you in the goddamn face, you queer. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. That was it. Yeah. That's so fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Vidal got his ass. Vidal cooked him, dude. <laughs> yeah, man, Gore. What was that? There's another. That other video is the Gore Vidal versus. Uh, who's the guy that? <coughs> Norman Mailer. W- they killed his wife. Norman Mailer. Did he kill his wife? Uh, did he? I don't know. Burroughs don't so. killed his wife. I don't know if Norman Mailer killed his wife. Also, but yeah, those like those debates on YouTube are actually pretty funny. Yeah, yeah between the two of them. I yeah. pa- I peeped that. Yeah, I love how the on the Gore Vidal uh, documentary. It's like they're interviewing all these people. It's all these like famous people. And then there's just like one like young, very uh, clearly gay man. Mm. And it just says close friend. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, he was who, the fu- who the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck watching a Gore Vidal documentary <laughs> won't let you say like fucking yeah. bo- boyfriend Slam or piece. Yeah, ex whatever. Yeah. I just love uh, the pictures of Walt Whitman with his boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's shit. I love telling people that don't know that Walt Whitman fucked kids. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he looked like fucking like Gandalf or some shit. Yeah. You know? Because people fucking... Well, yeah, he, he looked, looked like fucking Merlin. stupid as shit. But I just think it's so funny. It's like gentle, gay-ass poems. They're yeah. just like about a, a breeze blowing look at, through. Look at Walt Whitman was just fucking that boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing, too. It's because, like, you know, he has pictures with the boys he would fuck. And back then, it took, like, 45 minutes to take a picture. <laughs> yeah. You had to go, forever. like, nine towns over. Yeah, yeah So he would true. go, yeah, let's go get a fucking daguerreotype of me and this boy I fuck. Just so <laughs> throughout time, everyone will know what I was up to when I wasn't writing these gay-ass poems. <laughs> <laughs> a captain, my captain. Yeah, just imagine having to suck him off. That old ass man. Dude, his fucking dick probably smelled so bad. Yeah, of Terrible. 